So I had to cancel mass in my church because I, I couldn't go out there because it would be a violation of the Word of God. It was a sham. Jesus wasn't with intent. I don't know how how distant heaven is from earth. We say 10,000 miles to spirit. It's more than that. Whatever. But, but uh, Jesus wasn't within 10,000 miles of me anytime I was, I was offering the Mass, and I offered the Mass about 10 or well, three times on Sundays in some assignments, and every day. Jesus was no part of that. So you were he, offering the Mass daily? I offered the Mass daily. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 that's what the Bible says. He... Uh, 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 Jesus sat down after uh, his sacrifice at the right hand of the Father, so he wasn't offering his sacrifice daily. Mm -hmm. at all. So that's why I left the priesthood. That's the only reason I left the priesthood. I, I was devastated. And I called, got on the phone and called off Mass in my church so I'd have time to think. Mm hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, if you want to talk about it a little bit, uh, I didn't know what to do. Here, I, the Word of God literally blew my ministry asunder. And I had no place to go, and I couldn't talk to any priest about it because I knew what they'd say. Oh, you're misinterpreting the scripture. But it was so clear. Was, you know, Paul speaks about revelation about revelation. And this was a revelation. I mean, I just saw it, uh, you know. And, and uh, uh, so, uh, uh, once I saw it, it was, uh, it was all over. And so, uh, uh, I couldn't go on. I said, I have time to think. And so, a couple of days went by, uh, like I said, I couldn't talk to a priest about it because I knew what they would say. I couldn't talk to a Protestant, uh, a Protestant minister about it because they would say, we've been trying to tell you guys that for 500 years since the Reformation. <laughs> so I went into my church, my Catholic church, and I knelt down before the altar, at the altar rail, and of course there's the the candlesticks in the altar, and the big crucifix, and all of that. And I said, Lord, what shall I do today? I didn't know what to do. I said, Lord, what shall I do today? And when I said that, the power of God fell on me. It fell on me. And uh, uh, I, I, I felt the power of God from head to toe just whew, fall on me. And I didn't see the altar anymore, the uh, candle, the altar sticks, the <coughs> candle sticks, the altar cross. All I saw was a big white, like a big white movie screen, a big uh, tabula rasa, they call it, just a big white sheet. And it had a message on it. And just like the handwriting on the wall, in the, in Daniel. And it was all uppercase letters black and white, very vivid, and it said, write to your bishop. Mm 